Smart Plugin Manager from WP Engine. Well, you know, I've been using this for three years. And over those three years of running care plans using the Smart Plugin Manager, what have I found? Well, it's been a bit up and down, but really we have to understand first and foremost, what does Smart Plugin Manager do? And what did I find out? Well, before I had Smart Plugin Manager, I was doing WordPress automatic updates. And that often meant just pushing a button, crossing your fingers, hoping that all your updates ran okay, taking manual backups, all that kind of stuff. So what does SPM do? Well, it's meant to automate those simple plugins. It runs through, and instead of me staring at a screen, looking at code, making plugin updates one by one, taking backups one by one, Smart Plugin Manager does that for me. And it uses what we call visual regression testing on plugin updates. So that means it goes ahead and compares what your website was like before the update and what it's like after the update. And if it sees any kind of issue, it's meant to roll it back. So does it work? Sometimes, sometimes, more often than not, it does. And how often does it fail? Well, it depends on the way that your sites work. You know, I've found that it really does vary on the complexity of the site. There are certain sites that I've learned that I wouldn't run it on, others that I do run it on. So let's think about this. What happens when it fails? So what happens when SPM fails and it runs an update on your production environment and it fails? Well, basically it creates an error. And that error page can straight up just be a WordPress error page. And in that situation, your website's down. There are a number of plugins that I found that generally cause issues. First is LearnDash. Um, I had a website using LearnDash and LearnDash just completely disappeared after an update. Smart Plugin Manager didn't pick up the problem, said everything ran okay, but clearly it hadn't. WooCommerce is another one. You know, you can do an update with the plugins, but sometimes you need to run an update on the database for WooCommerce as well. And if you don't, well, you get problems. And Smart Plugin Manager can't run those updates. It will run the update of the plugin, but it won't necessarily run the database update. So that creates problems. Um, the events calendar is another one, same sort of stuff. Big database updates have happened recently on the events calendar, and more often than not, Smart Plugin Manager simply breaks your site when you're using the event calendar. Uh, Divi is another one that recently I had some 500 errors being caused by Divi when we updated. Don't know why, but Smart Plugin Manager would run the update and basically just break the whole site. So here's an example here of what I mean by a breakage. So this is a website that had the theme not updated. In this case, Divi was updated with a 500 internal error, but Gravity Forms and Redirection was not uh, was updated safely. So it's saying on this report, Gravity Forms is updated, Redirection is updated, but Divi theme wasn't at 500 error. And what was the result there? Well, let's take a look. You can see here that my website was just showing an error. The website was down at this point, but SPM was saying that it had ran the update and everything was working fine. Um, but the Divi theme had failed, so it rolled back just that change. And for whatever reason, Smart Plugin Manager could not handle that. And the website was effectively down. Thankfully, I have notifications and monitoring on these sites. And I found out, hey, this website's down and I was able to roll back. So the big question is, should you use Smart Plugin Manager? I mean, you do have to pay for it. It's an add-on for WP Engine. It varies in price depending on where you are and what plan you have. So should you use this? Well, first and foremost, you need to understand that it's not magic. You know, it's not a magic wand. It's not going to fix every single one of your updates. So when does it fix your updates and what should you really be looking at? Well, the first question I would ask is how many websites do you manage with WordPress and how similar are those websites? If the websites are all similar, for example, if every single site is running the same theme, Elementor, same sort of form stack, they're all very similar, then yeah, Smart Plugin Manager is definitely going to be useful for you. Why is that? Because one update run in one place with any errors, you're going to fix it everywhere and it means that you end up with a large set of automation. But what happens when it fails? Well, you're back to doing normal care plan kind of work. So over the years that I've used it, we still use it to this day because we're managing a large number of websites and we use care plans for those, but that means that we know don't run event calendar updates, don't run WooCommerce updates, don't run LearnDash updates and complement your updates with manual testing and manual reviews. 
If you're willing to do that, then you're gonna get great results out of Smart Plugin Manager and it will save you time. If you're not doing care plans and you're not in a position where you have a large number of websites that have a similar setup, they're all varied, then you're probably best off still doing manual updates. So I hope that helps you. If you wanna know more about Smart Plugin Manager or other automation tools, let me know and I'll get back to you in the comments below. Like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.